Yeah. We are students from the computing department, semester 1.1. Mm, okay. Okay, we just want to talk to you about something uh, about secondary storage devices. So first, would you please introduce yourself? Sir? Okay, I, uh, uh, my name is Nick Kamal, is Uden Ben Ibrahim. Uh, currently, I hold the post uh, Deputy Director of SMO. Secondary storage devices and the types of secondary storage devices that we have right now. Uh, on, on my notebook, normally we use another storage called S, uh, SSD. So the reason why we put some of the, 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 the critical applications, for, for instance, the operating system, to, to expedite the process of booting, and beside that, uh, I can uh, differentiate between data and the operating system. So from there, if anything happened to operating system, I actually can secure the data. And the secondary storage or especially SSD, uh, easy for us lah, because it will save uh, your comp computing time in terms of booting. And beside that, some of the critical application also you can store them at the SSD, on the SSD to uh, to to running uh, better lah, compared to the your your primary storage. What kind of secondary storage devices do you use, like in your daily life? Based on the current uh, age technology, I'm using the clouds. Um, I'm using the Apple Cloud. I'm using the Google Google Cloud as well as other clouds. Also in UTM, also we have our own cloud called UTM. Up to your knowledge, in CI/CD, mm -hmm. what are the kind of storage devices that are, they are using? We have to use. Depends. Uh, if for the normal uh, usage, especially for the daily stuff, uh, we encourage them to use the Unishare that I mentioned to you. Or beside that, we also can use our uh, official utm.my email. So our official is utm.my. From there, we also we have the the, the sharing uh, uh, sharing, sharing, sharing there. Yeah. So we, we can we can share over the over the network rather than you, you need to carry the, the devices and beside that in our application we are using the storage called pure storage you can google that the pure storage is a very uh, flexible storage in case we have any problem of our story so we can uh, uh, the system we we go to the backup in Kuala Lumpur yeah. uh, seamlessly backup server. yes backup server there and uh, the transferring from the problem uh, devices to the the new storage it just I, uh, I think a few minutes only so recover, oh. recover the, the whole of our, our system If there's a, there a cloud storage like that provides you with a single line connection to the server, mm -hmm. so there is no public traffic between your connection to the server. Mm -hmm. So will that be better for you? Uh, of course, if if we have that that features, normally cloud is a is a public yeah. uh, cloud. We we be using the public network in order to access to the cloud. Unless you have your own cloud called cloud on premise, you can have the features, the features of the cloud, but on your prem, uh, you can do, uh, you can use it by, you know, can be used by your own group, the group of the student, group of researcher can use that cloud. But you have really like create a device that allows you to mm -hmm. receive and transmit uh, data from the server to your computer. Mm -hmm. In a single line connection, mm -hmm. which is password protected and everything. Mm -hmm. So, will, will that be like an improvement to the cloud storage that we have right now? You need to, to improve the cloud services. Yeah. Uh, actually, the, the challenge, uh, the problem of the current cloud uh, services uh, is our our line, our internet speeds. Yeah. If we can improve it, uh, for sure the cloud becomes like your, you know. It's like your hard disk. So in order to improve it, like you mentioned, we must have a dedicated line to the cloud.